Hello everyone, and welcome back to La Molana 2. I'm Ranya Kuma, the arc is here with me as usual. Yo. And last time, I said we would probably go visit the Gator Tata. Today we're actually going to go visit a few things we kind of skipped over. Remember this place? Mm, a little bit. What? Remember to jump over it. At least it's actually not this hour. Yeah. Remember how that guy t tells us to chant heaven in front of the quest of Mimir? Mm. Oh wait, we can't actually do that yet. We don't have the thing yet. Yeah. We can, however, come summon this thing we completely ignored for a while. Wee! Oh boy. Uh. Hey! Not creepy at all. And now we're here. Yep. Which part of the. Shrine of the Giants, you ask? The seat, the non part of it. Hmm. The supernatural being Valor awaits beyond the eternally frozen sealed lands. Valor keeps guard over the guard handed down by the Anunnaki. Those who don't take guard must pass the pillar of swirling light, for then neither heat nor cold shall ail them. Hmm. Yeah, have you noticed how there's an empty slot in the guard section? Well, they're technically yeah. two, but they could never get really get that last one time. Anyway, that's just the point. Oh. <laughs> well done. I'm a dum dum. Yes. Well, I don't have anything to explain anymore, so this should be relatively short. In fact, we can do... this. Whee! The fuck is that? What, the corridor? Yeah. It's a uh, relatively important. What, is this boss fight about dropping stuff on him? Yup. Whack. That didn't exactly do a whole lot to him. He did one full health right on to him. Oh. I just have to... Shit, I missed it. Missed it again. There we go. Lucky. Yeah, I just have to remember how to... Now be, be care very careful how to push this. Okay. 
Tez Katlipuka. Tez Katlipuka. A demon <laughs> knows the shop. A demon knows the poison emitting mirror. It looks like a jaguar with man-made wings, and is in fact an artificial life form with its entire body made of obsidian. Its chest is a wall, well-polished mirror from which it spreads poison. Its obsidian body is very hard and cannot be scathed by human weapons. Y yeah, we kind of figured that part out. Yeah, I mean, I think he didn't try to attack him, but it wasn't exactly hard to. Yeah, I'm gonna go here. I mean, I'm kinda stuck there anyway because I didn't yeah. push it all the way, so. Hey, that guy's permanently dead, so it's fine. Yep. Uh, yeah, I need double jump for that one over there. That reminds me. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Having fun. We oh. Whack. Might as well check on the shop, you know? Mirror required. Technic I think you're technically supposed to use double jump for that one, but eh. eh. If it works, it works. A mirror of polished drones. It can dispel certain gates in the ruins. Gates leading out of the underworld will glow blue. Hmm. Very important. Anyway, back to the corridor. Like it's been scrubbed and polished pretty well. The surface that's smooth, you could probably grab one with the grapple claw and swing all the way down to the other side, huh? We're holding onto the pillar, try pressing the direction towards the pillar and pressing the jump button. Uh, yeah, I just realized we can't actually continue that area. <laughs> oh, and there's the message saying he got done, I'm sure. Oh boy, I just remember what we need to do to advance through that, so instead I'm gonna go to one of them. Because there's something else we forgot here. Remember that priestess who told us to go speak with the... Fairy King? Yeah. We never really went back to her? Hmm. So did we scan this one? Probably, but I'm gonna check anyway. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. I guess I need to go back to the Fairy King. Oh, never mind. Yeah. What the fuck was that? That light means that the Ankh showed up. Hmm. But we can't really do anything with the Ank yet. We do need to speak with the dwarves. Yeah, remember the dwarves? Hmm. Yeah, in a while. I'm just gonna go over here and over here. Pretty sure it was over here. Nope. Uh, just leads. Okay. Eh. Good enough. Okay, so I need to go up that side. Just completely ignore stay. 
evitar que el totem es... Wario, you have no place here. Get out. Okay. What about you? Get out. Wait, really? Hmm. I thought the priest told me I need to speak with them. Maybe I need to speak with her one more time. Oh well, we did have one other thing to do here anyway. And I've been leaving this one behind. Who has a lot of iron we are? Yep, and the red ones. But more importantly, hello there. Alert. That's the alarm map. It alerts you when there's something fishy in the room. Take it. Hmm. And just will equip it. We have the space, it's not very heavy. Oh yeah. But we got an entry. Oh, we have a few things we... Did we read that one? Um, uh, possibly. Yeah, I, pro I, know, I, we, I know we talked about them. Yeah, some of them probably just got unmarked. Ah, I think oh. it's that one. Sh Shoka. A charming woman with an aura of refinement who set up shop here of all places. She's very particular about her manners. So, so particular, in fact, she seems to have re redefined their very meeting. Huh. She's an Azir. Yes, no, Divine Fortress is kind of small. Oh well, I guess we're going back to Anubin. Maybe I just need to speak with the... You know, this guy again. No, why are you done this? Maybe we died at some point? I guess. I apologize for... for I apologize what? for not saying hello earlier. I am Mayor. A fairy. I've been ordered by Frey to help you. And power is the power of healing. I have the power to heal you in your body. Call on me when you've grown exhausted in your journey. So maybe I... Maybe we did die last time. Oh, Cause well. I remember I remember she introduced herself once before. Yeah. And then we found a version of her that that you can find beforehand and she just doesn't say anything. And you even pointed out that if you find her like that, she comments on not saying anything. Yeah, and then we found her again and she commented on not saying anything. So I guess it works for the weather? <laughs> Whatever. Oh well. Unlike your people, we six children have set roles to fill from the moment we are born. Frey has been fairy king since birth, just as Freya was born to be queen of the of Anubin. Part of our bodies eventually withering, we do not grow old. We simply continue to live for the purpose of fulfilling our respective roles. We are also unable to become anything more than that as which we were born. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fine. That must suck. You can. And the same thing. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I should be able to. I don't have the item, I'm probably doing. So I should be able to speak with them. I guess I'll go try again. Whack.
think I, I think I know why they aren't uh, talking to me. I probably haven't actually unlocked the ship or found technically the ship. Maybe? Let's check. No, I was definitely open and not activated. So let's, let's It even hits us properly. Huh. That's strange. I'm pretty sure I've done everything I need for them. Ow. I'll go speak with her one more time. At least we have access to the shortcut. I guess we technically didn't need the shortcut here, but whatever. No. Oh well, I guess I'll just progress something else and do something I'm really not looking forward to. Say. I remember noping away from him. Imagine having the agility to dodge a lunging dragon. Right. Oh! Messed up the damn streak. Yeah, I jumped the gun a bit there. I find it funny that you just hear a j this jet engine sound whenever he does that. Man, he can break like that rotating thing can still practically one shot me. I just know the pattern well enough to do it, and I had enough shurikens. <laughs> It's fire three top. Serious. The, this path is a freezing one. The frozen tree top presided over the guardian module. You must pass the frozen pillar to proceed. Oh no 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 no. I just need to get out of the way for that, since otherwise the other path will be closed. No like I can really go that way just yet. So that floor breaks, and you really, 
And you really don't want to fall down where that breakable floor leads, at least not yet. There is a tool that allows you to latch onto walls, simply by stretching out your hand and taking grasp. With it, you could swing around a pillar polished to a mirror chain. Yep, it's finally time to get the grapple claw. Technically, could have gotten it a while ago, but. Or something like that. I don't know. Are you gonna read it? Oh. Like a mushu. The soul of a girl who died young, becoming an evil spirit. She was a scythe in the shape of a bird's head. So we can get down to behead anyone who gets too close. The powers of flight do not be particularly strong. That's a pleasant thought. Yep. Alright, what do you want? The color of that pearl lava sure is nice, nasty. It looks suspicious as hell. All my years of experience tell me that this will be impossible even with the ice cave. We'll call this poison lava. Oh yeah, remember breakable ground right on top of lava? Try not to. Also, yes, we do have the totem pole scan. The picture on that tablet, I've seen it before. It's a tool for... Oh yeah, we've read this one before. Yeah, we can basically make a temporary teleport point. Hmm. Same bird of prey. Beauty begins at the foot of you. Case upon that foot. That makes sense. I mean, at least it's technically for this area, so. Oh, come on. Forgot that uh, sending the location of the totem pole doesn't actually save your game. Uh, <laughs> Fucking rip. the height of the... <laughs> be spending all of those shurikens again. Especially Maximal. since that would mean I wouldn't have enough anyway, so... Maximal though. Yeah, that was kinda... Big. Painful! That's a word for it, yeah. Third time's the charm? Technically?
Yeah, I've been able to hit that many in every... Um, every sequence, I guess, or whatever. Round. Definitely... Makes this fight a lot easier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I bet. Yeah, the first time I hit like two at a time. And now I'm hitting like five at a time. You could say I've gotten a bit better at the... Just oh, a little. Of course I missed the last one. Yeah. Right. Welcome back to hell. At the top of the tree. Yup. Wanna avoid that blow that falling Womp. Oh I should have used Langjua. Oh god, that's fucking ugly. That's how we're for it. Vampires transformed from women who died during childbirth. At first they s they may seem beautiful, but there are large biting mouths hidden in the back of their heads. When they feed on blood, they pull back their hair to reveal them. Yep. Yeah, that's fucking ugly. That's how we're for it. Gotten again. Alright, I'm gonna save here and immediately teleport uh, anywhere else. Because mm. that will save it. And then we can grab it again. Yeah, we've already read that one as well, no? And that one. See, and that is why we saved. <laughs> yeah. Save again so that it stops popping up like that. Fair enough. Because that was kind of annoying. Right. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> was just gonna end up having to teleport back anyway, so... Yeah, the timing on tank jump is a bit... annoying. Doesn't help that it just makes me sink straight to the bottom. It is very much death. Yes, I mean, just think about it. Poison lava. For when lava isn't deadly enough. I 
hate those things. Have I mentioned I hate those things? Because I hate those things. This might take me a couple tries just because I don't like that jump. Luckily, there's, you know, that totem pole right there. Imagine if we didn't have the. Uh, the player figure in. At that point, huh? The fairy that discovers secrets in their hand as more key. Yeah, we know about that one. We'll get her eventually. Very eventually. Sorry, zoned out again. <laughs> oh, the one. Not much of a dragon, if you ask me. Dragons born out of chaos, but bodies not unlike those of humans. They have crystals on their backs, which store elemental power of fire and ice. Do they sing, though? Which they convert into magical attacks. Some are said to be equipped with the, the powers of both fire and... What? what? And so it, there are fire ones, there are ice ones, and there are fire oh. and ice ones. Okay, but can they sing a song of fire and ice? <laughs> Probably not. Also, hello there. Um, okay then. If you I'm have, afraid to go through any of these. If you had the right program, some they tell you about the games they made if you enter the right one. Huh. It's a nice little dev room. Interesting. Can't really get in there because if we drop from uh, stairs, we drop straight down. Hmm. So, you know, that's just another double jump spot. But that's a uh, holy tablet, so. So, Garm. Ah, yes, Garm. Fierce dog that guards the underworld, it has a tough shell running from its head over its back. This shell almost appears to cover it entirely when it curls up to strike with its body. In the underworld, there is said to be a statue of a guard dog based on Garm. It's also an asshole. Mm hmm. The power stolen from the Fairy King is mine. The power to control fl flame lies in Sorter's Rule. Oh wait, that's a female. Bleh. If you desire this power, then bring me the Shining Side. Then I shall allow you to enter Sorter's Rule. Why that you nice. ask? Couchon, traces of poison. Nope. Nope. And in case you... Oh wait, we don't have the map, but that's Sorter's Rule. There is, a there is a talisman that can uncourse treasure, a red jewel, the only of its kind in this world. A jewel of the reddest red, representing the mother's life. The stone of Aja, I mean what? <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> but more importantly... Yay! Also... Don't fall. Well, that's something big and nasty in the back. Yep, that's Surtru. <laughs> Fun. False preview. Yep. Got it. Map. I'm just gonna wait for that to start going back up. Jump! No, quite the uh, uh. Barely. No, 
Be good for it. Danger! Magma! No shit! Filter bar, my fuss! No shit. Oh, look, a chest! Oh, look. Just grabs the jewel, the jewel and fucks off. Lost of shit. This leads. Back to the immortal battlefield. No like we can do much with this yet. That little squirrel is a piece of shit. I mean, it's not that little squirrel, but did you expect? And you aren't exactly very bright for doing that. I know. Brahma asked Atum, what is creation? Atum answered by assuming the form of a green snake before leaving for battle. Creation is fighting to protect. And that's a screenshot. Hmm. Welcome to the start of one of the biggest puzzles in the game. Speaking of which, the Elf Series Prophecy Part 5. The sun has no idea of the power it has. The moon has no idea that it has power at all. Dazzling stars remain, smoke and, f smoke and flame rage. Flames frolic in the heavens, for the mighty have vanished, for its true form cannot be seen by starlight alone. Oh, dead. Stupid dog. The dog is an asshole. Yeah, you're right, I'm the stupid one. And so, hello there. Welcome, we don't really have anything impressive, but still. Wait, Skaldro and Enga Musica. Does the app to play music? Does the Enga Musica app? No, oh, don't buy this. <laughs> she really it's doesn't soft. want you to buy it. <laughs> what? Wait, what the fuck? Did you just notice the price? <laughs> no, I noticed her face. Oh yeah, that. Well, Zinmara, a... a woman referred to as spouse of Sutra the Giant. Her actual role is to manage affairs until Sutra's power has returned. She's the keeper of the weapon, capable of defeating uh, Vidofnir, and is also guards the entrance to the underworld. Part of her longs for an end to all the destruction. You sure? She looks pretty fucking edgy. Yup. She's a Muspel. We haven't seen anyone else from the Muspel drive. Hmm. Also, porky item shop. A pig that takes the form of a beautiful woman. She has a cursed box that will suck in whomever opens it. Now she's apparently occupied with her trade business. She also likes music. Tribe, pig, race, mammal. I mean, yeah. Oh, that yeah. infuriates me. The fact that she's a run run? <laughs> anyway, I hope you'll have fun. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Uh... <laughs>